So now we're going to talk about the RC family of classic skis. So unlike the escape, aero, or snowscape family, the RC is a straight cut ski. Now what does that mean? It's the same dimension at the tip, at the waist, and at the tail. And for the skier, that means that the, skier is going to, the ski is going to be faster out of the box, it's going to glide a little bit better, and it'll be a little bit more dynamic on snow as well. So here we're targeting the RC family to a, an experienced skier or somebody with some athletic background that's going to want to really improve in the sport. So somebody a running, triathlon, biker, somebody who's never really skied before could get on this ski, still you know, struggle through the learning process of cross-country skiing because it's not an easy sport. But then because of their athletic ability, they're going to improve really quickly and, the, and they're definitely going to benefit from the RC family. Within the RC world, we've got the RC7, the RC8, and the RC10. Again, the further you go up the range, the better quality of the base, the core, uh, maneuverability, etc. All right? Um, in terms of the RC7 and the, the little differences between all three skis and the RC10, you're looking at a G3 base for the RC7, remember? G1 to G5 are the different base levels. RC8, you go up to a G4 base, so already pretty high level, absorbing a little bit more wax and faster out of the box. Makes the RC8 a perfect ski for that club racer, junior skier, or for parents don't want to break the, break the bank in terms of getting a, a performance ski for their uh, young skiers. And the RC10 bumps you up to a G5 base. So now you're getting a race, World Cup level race uh, base uh, that's going to absorb the best wax and be the fastest out of the box. In terms of cores, we are looking at the same Densolite core on all three skis. What changes between all three is the wrap that goes around that core. So it's either a two-layer fiberglass, a uh, two-layer fiberglass and carbon laminate, or just straight carbon laminate on the RC10. All right, so again, what does that mean for the skier? It just means that the skier is going to respond better. The more uh, we add carbon to anything, whether it's in the bike world or ski world, the more maneuverable and the faster, more responsive and dynamic that ski will be. All right, so the little things that makes the ski a little bit more twitchy, a little bit more race responsive, you'll find that in the 10 and a little easier uh, to learn on on the RC7. All right, so all in all, a great performance line, all with the um, PSP system. So that ProLink shift plate allows you to clip on the binding that will move it back and forth. All these are, op are offered in the skin technology and um, with our blue e-skin made by Cola. All right, so these are user replaceable and always be aware of the length. So longer skis will have the long skin, shorter skis will have the short skin. All right, time to chat about the RC family of boots. Within the RC family, we've got four different models. We've got the RC7, the 8, the 9, and the RC10. In terms of the 8 and 9 also offer the RC10. 8 and RC9 Vitan Nocturne options. Again, women-specific models having that narrower heel and a little bit more room in the toe box and a few uh, touch points as well in terms of warmth. Ultimately, the, the fundamentals on the RC family is that they are still very warm, uh, very comfortable out of the box uh, but in terms of those extra stability features we add a little bit more flexibility in the toe box here so a little bit better kick quality uh, this is a skier that uh, generates a little bit more heat a little bit uh, better uh, technically and therefore uh, will require less stability and more flexibility in their boot starting off with the RC7 uh, you have your price point option, a uh, nice quick lace here, so it's a nice feature upgrade from the regular laces that we had last year. Um, some decent uh, stability features and advanced skin warm insulation as far as uh, keeping your foot warm. So really nice warm performance boot at the entry level is the RC7. Next up is the RC8. And here we go to a side zip 
and again regular quick lay system keeping that nice foothold really locking your foot in for that maximum control stability great flexibility in this boot and also getting a little heel counter here so that it locks your achilles right into the boot and getting that maximizing that performance so super good uh, super warm boot very comfy out of the box and also available in a vitan version with some nice fleecy touch touch points there to keep those feet warm next up is our best-selling boot on the performance side is the rc9 nocturne here we upgrade to thin -solite 200 grams insulation so again very warm in terms of uh, insulating uh, features quick lay system and then we add the custom fit so anytime you see my custom fit on the boots all that material from midfoot back uh, is basically thermal moldable and will allow your foot uh, as you use it two three times to kind of mold around the the boot or the boot to mold around your foot taking away the hot spots and pressure points uh, nice heel counter and adjustability on the back as far as an Achilles uh, uh, support goes to make sure it's snug and limit that heel slippage. So a great, comfy, warm performance boot on the RC9. Top it all off is the RC10. Again, very similar to the 9, although one notch down in terms of the insulation properties. This gear is getting into that club racer performance gear that doesn't need as much warmth built into the boot. So as such, it's a bit more of a neoprene uh, boot cover here. Um, that gear is generating their own heat, so they don't need as much. Everything is... Um, uh, limited in terms of stitching and a nice side zip to keep the elements away as well so quick lace uh, and actually disassociated quick lace here i don't know if you can see on the camera it's a black and blue strand same kevlar lacing system but a different routing at, around the foot so that when you engage the quick lace it actually wraps and it's an even um, tie around the foot Last point of difference on the RC10 is the carbon outsole. So instead of a plastic or composite outsole, we've got nice uh, flexibility, a little lighter, and every time you add carbon, you add a little bit of awesome, is the RC10.